Africa's youngsters have to adapt very quickly to a tough world out there. Some are born having to stand within minutes, and some even to run within the hour to stay ahead of predators. The continent's wild babies have to rely completely on their mothers to guide them away from danger, but still provide food and important lessons in a hostile environment filled with extremes. Some females have only one infant, like baboons, antelope and rhinos while more than one offspring is par for the course for predators like lions and hyenas. Hyenas usually bear litters of up to four cubs, and special only to hyenas, they are born with their eyes open. Like all mammals, hyena cubs drink milk, but the milk of a mother hyena is very rich, and newborns can even go a day or two without it due to the high fat and protein content. Milk content amongst wild mammals varies as each species produces its own special blend, best suited for their offspring. Hard to believe, but rhinoceros milk is very low in protein and fat. It is high in carbohydrates, probably in preparation for the youngster's life as an all-day grass-eater. Elephant milk, on the other hand, is extremely high in fat and proteins, containing a hundred times more protein than that of cow's milk. Giraffes are the tallest animals on Earth, so a baby giraffe is born at the height of a large human. These youngsters are learning to wean themselves from milk, but it's quite clear the youngest still prefers his mother's milk. Growing two inches a day, a giraffe calf doubles its height in a year. During all this time, it stays close to its mother, as baby giraffes are easy meals for Africa's large predators. Many calves do not survive their first week. Mothers try desperately to even the odds by teaching their young how to hide by using their clever camouflage patterns on their skin. So careful is she to watch out for danger, she only sleeps 30 minutes a day, broken into six five-minute naps. Many new mothers across the planet sacrifice their sleep time but nothing comes close to a giraffe mum. African wild dog puppies receive food daily from their parents. This is fresh meat, literally minutes old from a kill nearby, so there is little risk of disease as the dogs tend not to scavenge like hyenas at carcasses. The most famous of all scavengers is the vulture. Feasting on rotten carcasses, vulture mothers carry food back to their young as well. However, vulture chicks are born with a hardy immune system, and this time of shelter in a diseased nest prepares them for a lifetime of living with bacteria. Elephant mothers are not alone in guiding their young. They live in a matriarchal society, so other females help care for a new mother's calf. By watching the adults, the elephant youngsters learn how to access water holes, as well as which plants to eat. It is now known that elephants self-medicate from wild herbs, so these are important lessons. On this planet that we all share, it's important to know that humans aren't the only ones who take extraordinary steps to care for their young.